Oh, hello there. Welcome to our little girl's official bedroom. Come on in. So I am officially sharing the full nursery tour. Now, by this point, you will have already known her name, Miss Little Sage, Sagey as I like to call her, um, who is still in my belly. Actually, her due date is today. I didn't know if I was gonna be filming this before or after she arrived, um, but I guess before. So we are ready for her. we're ready for you, Sage. When you're ready, you're gonna have the cutest little baby's room and this is like, exactly what I pictured. I remember creating a Pinterest board months ago and feeling like we were so last minute putting this room together and we just got the final touches in last night. So I love how it turned out. I'm so excited to show you guys around all the little details of what's happening in here. And in case you're wondering, I'm gonna have a full blog post linked down below in the info box with photos and links to everything that I'm mentioning in today's video since I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about it. So let's just dive right in. Maybe we'll start with this corner here and I'll show you guys around. So on this wall here, this is like the changing station. I feel like there's a lot of fun things going on, but it's still nice and clean and simple. So I knew I wanted to do just a dresser top for the changing table. I know there's like actual changing tables that you can buy. I find a lot of them really expensive. Um, so we ended up getting this really cute, like kind of birch wood style dresser from Ikea. And it already had these super cute little like leather pulls for the knobs that I really liked. Then for the actual changing pad, I love the design of this one. I think it's called a Kikaroo and it's like a peanut shape. It's super soft and it's just apparently really easy to wipe clean once baby is done changing. Um, I also did get these little like pads that you can put on them just for extra like comfort and warmth because she's being born in the cooler months. So I thought, you know, maybe in case this gets a little cold, we have these. But I also just have like some sanitizer and hand cream here on the side. Then up top, we have these beautiful floating shelves um, that are solid wood. They're actually handmade from a local Canadian Etsy shop called Croft Studio. And the cool thing is, is they actually match the Ikea dresser. That was just kind of accidental. I love how they also have that birch wood style with the leather straps and it really does go together. It looks like they came as a pair. Um, and then on it, I just have some trinkets. We have her little, we've been calling her baby acorn this whole time. So we were actually gifted this uh, book that says because of an acorn, which I thought was so sweet. A little faux succulent. We have these little shoes for when she can walk. These are from a really sweet little local Canadian store called Merely Me, um, which we got a ton of baby clothes from and I can't wait to play dress up with her. I will link her shop in the blog post. And then actually this little handmade wooden camera, which so appropriate, even has a working shutter. <laughs> this is from a shop called Little Rose and Co. And they sell a bunch of really sweet um, handmade wooden toys. Uh, so we have some things sprinkled out throughout the room. And then I just got a little bowl here that I have some pacifiers in that I think I got from Urban Outfitters for like $10, it was on sale. And then on this corner, I just thought I wanted to do like some kind of mirror. That way, if I want to hold up baby Sage so she can see herself, I didn't want anything too heavy over top of the dresser. I mean, we have the shelves, but I'm keeping things pretty light on them. And then I have this handmade woven. Oh my God, she's pushing so much right now. And then I have this handmade little macrame rainbow that was also from a local Etsy shop. I really wanted not just stuff from like mainstream stores, but I really wanted to support local small businesses like ourselves. And we actually got to pick the colors on here um, so we can go with the room, which I thought was really cool. And then over here, I just have this little, um, like a little hook. I think it's, is it a sloth? Yeah, Chloe's nodding, it's a sloth. Um, and I got this from Urban Outfitters too, it was on sale. And I just am using it to kind of hang her little pacifier clips. Also, I already have one. Um, monogrammed with her name. I love her name, can you tell? It's like all over the room. <laughs> so that's there, we can really hang anything on there, um, like even like a onesie or whatever we need. And then underneath, I actually have my sister, my younger sister Chloe and 
my cousin Caitlin went together on a gift for the shower and this was part of the gift. They got this beautiful wicker laundry basket and I believe this one was from Pottery Barn, Pottery Kids, where is it from? One of those stores, I'm gonna link it. And she actually has some laundry in here, some extra stuff that we still have to wash. Um, but he's so cute, he has little ears and a little face and he really goes with the room because she needs a cute spot to put her dirty clothes in, am I right? And then in this corner, so my sister Chloe actually saw this idea on Pinterest and all it is, it's a macrame plant hanger that I put a basket in and then you can put toys in it. I thought the idea was so fun and she has her little doggy stuffy, a little octopus and you can really put anything you want in there. Um, you can do like a double one if you wanted, but this was such an inexpensive way just to kind of like style the room and add some more like bohemian touches in here because I'm trying to go for like that boho floral theme if you can't tell, but I just thought that this was like a really fun, whimsical addition to the room. And then in the corner here, I was just worried about um, extra space for her like changing essentials because it is a really small room in here. So I end up just getting this little rolling rack from Ikea and I just have some like extra diapers on top, some changing pad liners, there's some wraps from Solly Baby. And then at the bottom, I have some diaper pail liners. And then right in the corner, we have her sage green diaper pail. I specifically was looking everywhere for this color and my uh, Tia Debbie found it and I love it. It's like actually makes me wanna put dirty diapers in there. It's a really pretty color and it fits right in that corner and hopefully it doesn't get stinky in here. <laughs> Okay, so for the main feature of the room was this gorgeous mural. So this has quite the story. Uh, we actually ordered it off Etsy from this, oh, hi, Cashew. Hi, you coming to hang out? Do you like Sage's room? Yeah? Oh, are you gonna be a big sister? Yeah? Oh, I can't wait to see the two of them together. You're gonna guard her? You're gonna just hang out right next to her crib? Yes. Okay, sit down. She loves this carpet, by the way. Okay, Cashew, sit. Lie down. Good girl. <laughs> so the focal point of the room is obviously this beautiful mural. It's actually a peel off wallpaper. So it's really easy to put on. And there was a bit of a struggle getting it because we actually had it shipped from a Australian Etsy shop. So it took, I think, I don't know, a month and a half. Um, you, you guys know shipping has been delayed everywhere and it was well worth the wait. It's exactly what I wanted. It has like a boho floral kind of look to it, but it's not too girly or too busy. I liked that it had some bare space in the middle um, so that I could actually put a little name sign, which was also from a Etsy shop uh, called Cut the Font and they custom made it. I did it and it's so it's made out of wood and then I got a gold finish and I could pick whatever font I wanted and it was really customizable, which I loved. And then we also have on top of her crib, this was also handmade. I have this beautiful mobile that has matching colors to the mural and little clouds. So she actually won't be in this crib right away. So we just have some things in here right now, but when she's in here, there won't be anything in there. I know I'm gonna get questions like, don't put anything in the crib. It's fine, it's just for decor right now. She's gonna be sleeping in our room, in her bassinet for the first few months um, until we're ready to transition her into her big girl crib. Then for the actual crib itself, it's, this is probably the first thing that I found when looking for like baby things. I saw this one, I believe the brand name is called Stokey and I fell in love. I loved that it was a rounded oval shape. I feel like it's unique. I haven't seen any other cribs like it. This one will actually grow with your baby when they like are in toddler stage. And I think up until like 10 years old, you can make it into a bigger bed, but it's such a sweet crib. It's solid wood. We actually got this uh, second hand. We found it on Kijiji for like a fraction of the price. And it was really great because we could reuse and recycle something and it's basically in brand new condition. We like cleaned it all down and it's gonna work and we saved a little money because it wasn't a cheap crib. And then inside here, I actually have two really sweet dolls here from a company called Cuddle and Kind. 
And I believe for every doll you purchase from them, I think 10 meals go to children in hunger and they have the sweetest designs. They're handmade, hand woven, and this one's a little fawn and a little puppy. So there's two different sizes that they have. So these were actually gifted from them. So thank you, Cuddle and Kind. I think Sage is gonna love these. Cashew's already been eyeing them, but I'm make, trying to make sure she doesn't attack these. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle <laughs> teaching her what are Sage's toys and what are her toys. And then inside the crib, Matt's mom, so grandma actually made her handmade, not only a pillow, I specifically was like, do you think you can make a circle pillow? So she was up to the challenge. So she made a pillow that matches this gorgeous uh, quilt and it actually has two sides. This is the quilted side, and then the other side is this really pretty uh, flower pattern. And this was all handmade. It's so soft, and it's definitely gonna be a keepsake for when she's older. So I just have that on the crib. I thought it went really well with the floral theme in here. And then in this corner, I'm just gonna try not to trip over Cashew, because she's laying on the floor. She's making herself quite comfy in this room, which is good. Um, I have a faux fiddle leaf fig tree. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I actually found this at Canadian Tire, but I'll try to find a, a similar one if this one isn't available. It is hard to find a good faux plant, and I didn't want anything live in here just because I didn't want to deal with bugs or because she's not going to be in here right away. I just didn't want to deal with like having to water more plants because in case you didn't know, I have a lot of plants in my house and I just wanted to make sure it was nice and clean and bug free in here. So I just have this in a large woven basket that actually matches the one that the Steffies are hanging in. And in the corner here, I thought, wouldn't it be perfect if we had a dream catcher that matched the dream catcher in the mural, like it just jumped off the wall. So this was actually handmade as well from a local Etsy shop that I will also link. And I got to pick like the colors, the feathers, the flowers, and I just think it complements the wallpaper perfectly. And it just really is gonna help her have happy dreams when she's sleeping in here. Then for the curtains, I actually got both of these from Ikea, believe it or not. Um, I feel like curtains can get really pricey. I actually have a very similar pair in our bedroom. So these are, I think they're called like semi blackout curtains. So when you close them, it can get nice and dark in here, which I know is good for when baby's sleeping. Um, and then I layered it with these sheer kind of, um, not eyelet, but it has a little pattern to it. And I just thought the combination of the two looked really cute. So if we just want privacy, but not, you know, blackout, um, we can just close the middle ones and still have light coming through and it just looks really like whimsical and airy in here and i just love the look of the two so i also like that this isn't too pinky it's kind of like a mauvey color and it really complements the wallpaper so these bookshelves were actually here when this room was a guest room so i decided just to repurpose them because it is a small room and i wanted lots of storage so we can store basically everything that's baby related in the baby's room so it's not just like all over the house so i had a lot of fun decorating uh, these shelves and styling them I wanted to have just like some pops of personality while having lots of storage. So over here I have, we actually just got these printed last night. I have her official ultrasound photo. Um, this was when she was, I think 20 weeks old. So we have that in there and I just got this frame from Ikea. I also have one of these little vases from the health net shop, our home section. And I added some dried sage that I grew in my garden this year and it smells like sage. Um, so I thought that would be cool to put that in there because it was grown the same year that she's been growing. And then in the back here, I have another wooden toy from uh, Little Rose and Co. Um, it's just a little rainbow. You can get it customized if you want to put like a name on it or something. Um, but I just love the simplistic look of just like the wooden rainbow. And then these baskets. So these ones are um, just like a cream little woven handle basket. Uh, we bought a bunch of these, not only for the shelf, but also for the closet, which I'm gonna show you guys. We did like a full renovation in there too. And these little wicker baskets I already had around the house. I think they're from Target originally, so I've, I've had them for a while. I have all of her books here. We actually decided um, for the baby shower to do books instead of cards. So they have little messages written in them. Um, which I think is gonna be really fun for when she's older. 
Up top here, I just have some wooden blocks that were also gifted from Chloe and Caitlin. Um, and Matt's idea, because he keeps telling me, he keeps wanting credit for it. He was like, wouldn't it be cute if we put Sage's name in the middle? So we have our name in the middle and these blocks are really cool because they have like animals, numbers, letters, um, and patterns on them. So I think they'll be really fun for her to actually play with. And then in the middle here, I just have some faux lavender, a little rattle from uh, the Merely Me shop that the shoes were from. Um, some larger books that didn't fit down there, uh, more bassets throughout. And then on this middle shelf, this is actually an idea I had months ago and I finally made it happen. I wanted to have a newborn photo of both myself and Matt that we could add to the room just as a little like memory keepsake. So um, also too, it's fun to see what we think she's gonna look like. Although neither one of us looks like what we do now. So I have no idea what she's gonna look like. So I also have little, um, little toys or trinkets from both of our childhood, this little bear and Tigger figurine from Matt's childhood. And then I have a couple of precious moments, uh, figurines and stuff that my mom uh, found for me that I could add to this room. So I think they're just fun little keepsakes and they just add like a personal touch to this room. And then on this side, I just have some extra stuff. Um, I got a little avocado book for her, um, another little wooden camera, um, this little egg light that I don't really know how it works. I don't know, Matt knows how it, me and technology, I see you tap it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it like glows, you can dim it I think and just kind of carry it around the room with you if you're doing like a late night changing. Um, this is good so you don't have to like turn on the main light. I don't actually know how to turn it off. So I'll leave that there. Off. Why is this so hard to figure out? Matt, how do you turn off this light? Oh, I swear I tried so many different ways. Okay. Oh. Double tap. Yeah, double tap. Dims. Oh, oh, so you have to be right on top. Double tap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> he has the secret. It's still on. Oh my god. start having contractions <laughs> my leg fully spasmed but like up my thigh oh, she's moving a lot okay how are you back on <sighs> anyways i also have a little sound machine here in the back i think this one's called like the the hush the i forget what this one's called i forget how this one works too but uh, we have that. Um, I have a cloud diffuser, which we're probably gonna actually move to our room since she'll be sleeping in there the first few months and it can just help her not be as stuffy um, during the winter months while the heat is on. And then the closet, which funny enough is like one of my favorite parts of this room. I think it was the first thing that we did before we started doing like the wallpaper and stuff just because there was like a little bit of renovation going on. This closet was not a closet before. There was just planks of wood, not even a clothing like rolling rack to hang clothes. So we took everything out and my lovely uncle Tony came in with his wood shop skills and helped build this custom closet that we actually did on the cheap. I can't take full credit because I end up finding, there's a popular blog that you can find on Pinterest um, that shows you how to create this baby's nursery closet for under a hundred dollars. I got inspo from that blog post and picked up the items I needed. So this middle section is actually from Closet Made. It's just like a unit you can buy. And then to that, we added on some shelves that we cut, um, these little raw wood, uh, wooden dowels that I just got from Home Depot. Um, everything was really easy to find, super inexpensive, so you can totally recreate this in your own home for your own baby's room or personal room. Um, but it, what I really liked is that you get to do the multiple levels. You can actually store or hang more clothes because baby clothes are so tiny. So, I mean, if you're doing this for like bigger, like toddler clothes, you can always fold the pants halfway so you can, and put shirts and stuff so you can actually fit them in here. Um, but then I just have the same baskets that we have in the bookshelf. They fit perfectly in this unit. 
um, and I love like the rope detailing and they store a lot a lot of these are still empty and then what I really like about this closet is we actually were able to just um, section it by size so at the top we have zero to three at the bottom we have three to six we know what's washed and then any extra clothes that she's not fitting into yet we have in these upper baskets and then we'll just rotate them as needed so um, lots of storage in here we have extra baskets for more things and yeah just lots of room to to grow literally <laughs> and then on the actual closet door itself i heard from a lot of other moms and blogs and youtube videos that i watched that getting a clothing uh, like a clothes rack hanger is really essential because there's going to be things that you need to hang and if you don't have a hanger it's just going to end up on the floor and i can definitely see that happening with me so right now i just have her little uh, animal robe towels here i don't know what they're called but um this will be really good for hanging up jackets hats um, bags lots of different things um so they don't end up on the floor so I will link everything on how I did this closet in the blog post if you guys wanna check that out. Um, but I just love how it turned out. I think it really utilizes that space um, to its full potential because it is a small room, like I said. And then I'm gonna talk about what's up top and what's on the bottom in this room. So up top, this light is a crystal egg light. I've had it for a couple of years now. I got it on sale, I think at Lowe's. And originally I saw it at one of our friends places and I fell in love with it and I was like, where did you get it? Um, so I've had it for a while and it used to be in the guest room and I thought it'd be perfect for this room. It's girly, it kind of gives you like the chandelier vibes, um, but it's nice and compact. So it's nothing dangling, no one's gonna hit their head off of it. Um, but I really like how it looks. And then Matt has one of the Philips uh, hue light bulbs in here so we can dim it or change the colors if we want and have fun with it. And then on the actual floor, I really wanted something neutral and cozy to really ground the space. Originally I was gonna do a circle rug and then I just thought there's a lot of circular things happening in this room. I thought I would just do a simple square. And I love that this one has, it's cream, but there's like little specks of taupes and browns in it. So I'm not too worried about having, worried about stains and stuff and it's just super soft on your feet if we're doing midnight changes in here or three o'clock in the morning uh, especially throughout the winter it's a nice cozy spot um, to stand on while you're changing baby sage all right so that's basically everything in the room there's one more thing on the door i want to show you before you head out so um so the last thing which is actually the first thing that you see when you come into the room is this wooden name sign. This was handmade from a local Etsy shop and I got to pick the colors, the font, the wood stain, and I just love how it turned out. I think it's a beautiful piece to even gift to someone if you know their baby's name, but I think it's just such a cool piece of artwork for the door that also displays her name and I'm just in love with it. I will definitely link that for you as well in the blog post, um, but I think that's everything. Thank you for hanging out and letting me show you guys around this magical baby nursery that I'm so proud of and spent a lot of time not only envisioning, but also creating. So thank you. I will see you guys in my next video and um, wish me luck with uh, Baby Sage coming any day now. Bye guys.